Earlier today, we caught up with several state reps for their take on today's historic turn of events, including some who say they're troubled by the handling of this latest controversy swirling over the state house. Our in-depth coverage continues now live with Eyewitness News reporter Jared Kleiner. Hi there, Mike and Kelly. The atmosphere in and outside the chamber absolutely electric as members gathered to, an ex to elect their next speaker. They have done that. The largest body now has a leader, the largest body of the General Assembly, a wave of lawmakers pouring in, filling the seat left officially unoccupied since late last week. The magnitude of this moment and of the past few days cannot be overstated. Hours ago, Speaker Contender Mike Marcello conceded to Nick Mattiello. It was clear he just did not have the votes. Writing was on the wall. Five of six Republicans backed Mattiello, except for Patricia Morgan. She abstained, along with several others, as you heard. We spoke to her and Marcello himself. Take a listen. Are you not convinced that this will produce change for this body? I think we're probably going to get a lot of the status quo. And for me, that means that the people are going to still be struggling with a stagnant economy, that that's not going to change very much. Um, we need, we need to really seize this moment and start reforming the things that we are doing wrong. There was no question in my mind that by Saturday night we had 41 votes. What happened between Saturday and Monday morning, I have no idea. There were a lot of people switching back and forth. I do like Nick Mattiello personally. I think he's a decent, honest man. Um, but I think the institution has kept, will keep him from doing what he really needs to do. And as you heard, uh, we do have a new leader, Nick Mattiello, uh, picking up the reins of power as the next speaker of the Rhode Island House of Representatives. And coming up at 6 here, Mike Marcello, tell us what exactly happened to lead his votes to fall apart. Live outside the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.